It's important to properly dispose of unwanted medication or sharps. MedProject offers free and convenient disposal options near you. To learn more, call 844-MEDPROJECT or visit medproject.org. Okay, fine. We'll team up. I'm J-Man, and this is J360 Hangout, here on J360 Radio! It's important to properly dispose of unwanted medication or sharps. MedProject offers free and convenient disposal options near you. To learn more, call 844-MEDPROJECT or visit medproject.org. Lucky Land Casino, asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. All righty. Uh, yeah, so what happened was... <laughs> We were going to do uh, a Cyclone episode, and um, apparently not because it's a Hangouts episode now. So yeah. y'all just gonna have to grit, bear it, and take it because yeah. we ran into a lot of technical difficulties on the way to the Cyclone. And um, well, you know, the Hangouts was just right there, and it was so cool to to go ahead and do that kind of stuff because I think Al got hurt, and not only that, Marco's still here, and I'm still here. So it's gonna be an action-packed uh, Hangouts episode. <laughs> Uh, Once we get all that other stuff under control, you're going to get your Cyclone fix. It's just not going to be with this first game in this first week. And not only that, it ain't going to fuck up my vibe. How yeah, you doing yeah. there? 100%. Yeah. You man. know? <laughs> Besides, some of y'all are watching She-Hulk and wishing it was you that she was carrying. <laughs> Out of all the times you wish, like, uh, you forgot to pay your subscription to something, you know? Watching She-Hulk right? episode two, and you're like, oh, why am I still? I oh, dude! <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna have to stop you right there because you know this is getting broadcasted to Twitter too. So, uh, I'm just you know, kidding. I love that show. <laughs> no, we ain't selling out like that either. <laughs> oh man! No, no, we can't do that, Marco. We Crazy. can't do that. Crazy. No, well, what it is is that it's actually on episode four now, and I think that's like what happened. Uh have you caught up with it? Have you watched all of it so far? I don't have to man people are just running around chiming that crap in you know what it's, i'm saying yeah, like, it's kind of nice to feel like it feels like you've watched it but you haven't done a single thing for the not show. a damn thing at all it's kind of nice to just be like eh, you know whatever fuck it. i mean you know i mean I'd, I'd go and see lord of the rings i could go over there and wait for house of the dragon but you know the whole point is i don't need a streaming subscription because i have the lemmings tell me about it you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. People awesome. on the internet will tell you everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You know how so. <laughs> it's like waiting to watch. Like, the only movie that hadn't gotten spoiled for me in the last, like, five years was Top Gun. It's so right. weird. Because, like, the ending isn't really important to, like, the bad guy or the whatever. It's like, the, it's like Top Gun is literally the movie where, like, you know what? The real lesson was that we made friends along the way. That's, like, literally the lesson to Top Gun Maverick. It is, you know, and it's like so. There's really no spoiling it because the movie's just cool. It's mm-hmm. like, it's not a cool movie. And people are like, oh, I don't want to ruin it for you. <laughs> I'm thinking like, what would they ruin? I could have guessed all this. Well, not only that, but it's like, it's not only great because you know Tom Cruise is back, Val Kilmer's back, all the people that you're familiar with is back. Mm-hmm. It's good, mm-hmm. also because the movies have been so damn weak as of late. Yeah, even the worst movie could be the best movie simply yeah. just for participation. Yeah, it was like a realization that like if you just made the movie and didn't care about what people were going to think, mm-hmm. the, movie, the movie you make is going to be great. You know? Like, like one of its combinations was actually, um, dare I say it? Like, okay, the winning combination was all those superhero films that once again chimed up right there in the mix of summer. Without anything to actually be, you know, 
to go ahead and be in the middle of the palette, I want to say. The yeah. words are not with me tonight. But the thing is, it's like there's nothing in the middle. Like there's no chaser. That's what I'm trying to say. A chaser. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing like right there. And you would think that Jurassic Park would be, but you fools. Oh, my dude. Jurassic so, Park is a movie that like it pretty much insulted you the whole movie. Like <laughs> it's like cool idea, I guess. I don't know, like black market velociraptor sales or whatever they were doing i don't know what mm. they were talking about but and then it was like if you thought that was cool watch this stupid shit <laughs> it's like, okay Lady yeah like, and all that like no i'm all right man okay yeah i'm good fam i'm good you know mm-hmm. but you, you got to think about it. the most i was banking on this movie was we're not gonna be like fallen kingdom Matter of fact, you're going to be worse than Fallen Kingdom, and yeah. you had the nerve to take three of the old cast with you. It's kind and of like, everybody else. It's like the it's like the Halo sequels effect. Like you know how, like everyone was like, "Oh yeah, Jurassic Park three was shit. Like that was dog shit. No one liked that movie." And then they were like, "Oh yeah," scaling <laughs> it up beyond three. Stay and tuned. It's, it's like that with like the Halo shit. Like Reach. In hindsight, there's a bunch of fans that hate it, which could have fooled me because when Reach came out, I thought everybody loved it because that, you know, people were playing that game for years after it came out online, right? Oh, yeah, and, yeah. I was like, oh, I fucking hated that game. And then they're like, oh, four wasn't that bad. Like, all these, all the change in opinion is just like, okay, so this is what we get, you know? Like, you keep buying shit, they're going to keep making it to your specification or whatever. Yeah, that's the world we live in, man. <laughs> Crazy. Like, well, I remember telling you this. Like, you know, everybody wants variety, freedom of choice, and all that jazz. Yeah. But then when it comes right down to actually having it, now they want to be all marginalized with that nonsense. Yeah. We got to water it down somewhere. You know, it's like anything that's special about this, the hell with that. Nah, nah. Nope, not happening. It's nah. like everything is so inclusive it's not inclusive no more Mm -hmm. like it's ironically like it's it's done it's undone itself like the more they try to force it to be like that you know like that i guess you could see even down to like the like the free-to-play games are like they end up becoming like the marker in the industry Mm -hmm. and then everyone fucking hates them at some point (laughs) because like everyone's playing it so now there's like all the hackers are playing it. All like the fucking nine year olds are playing it, screaming at you. So Fortnite's like the perfect example, right? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, yeah. Fortnite's like the perfect example of like, oh yeah, we made this to everyone's liking where it's not too complicated, but ironically, it is complicated. Mm. And then it's really built for people who have like a nine year old's attention span. So you know? pretty much like half the world and all of Gen Z. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's made for people with like the Twitter attention span, where like mm. you can only read something with 120 characters and you have to move on. <laughs> like, how <laughs> is that? Where you're just like, damn, I can't well, read longer than that. Well, they spoiled us, man. Is that what 240, 280, something like that? Now I don't yeah. even really care to count. It's fucking crazy. Or you'll see those like celebrities when they get in trouble, they like write out a whole thing in their notepad on their phone and they just like post the pictures. And then they make you read it in chronological order. Well, like, you know, every time, like, uh, like when Justin Bieber got in trouble for saying the N-word, he was, like, harmonizing it. Then he writes, yep. like, an essay about how he's sorry about how he, did, how he did it, but then he just uploads, like, snapshots. Of- <laughs> 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 like, dog, just, like, get a blog. If you're going to keep fucking up like this, just write on your blog about it, and then we'll what? read it. Well, the funny thing about wordsmiths like that are, Word. it's gotten so... <laughs> It's gotten so bad that even Twitter will send you a message and tell you, hey, if you'd like to be really in depth, you can sign up for this newsletter service that we just bought. It was like, the fuck? Dog, no. Yes. Yes, my dude. They have a newsletter service. I was thinking about using them, though, just just for kicks. But then I realized I created the mini bites for a reason. And that's not just to tell off people. That's so... That's so nuts to me. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's kind of like, have you seen um that video that they put out like months back of like the VR metaverse Walmart shopping? Did you ever see that? Yeah. So the digital self gets closer to food than I will. Right. And then in the in the demo, it's like to to feed into like your weird idiocy that they've like algorithm to death, so they know you like better than your own mother. You know, because like not only are you feeding it like your political takes, but you're also like 
ask you on Twitter to search for like the weird porn you're into at the same exact time. So you're like, what kind of algorithm do they have on me? Right. <laughs> so like, right. In this, like in this Walmart VR demo, like this fool's getting like milk or whatever. And then even the VR assistant goes like, um, your refrigerator just told me you already have a gallon of milk. Are you sure you want to get another one? You big fat piece of shit. Like it's like, it's like, it's like this crazy tone. The AI takes with you. You're like, yo, what the fuck? And my refrigerator ratted on me. And then the person's bill goes from like seventy nine dollars, and then they and then she goes like, now nah, to the fun part, electronics. The person never asks to go, and then it like shows a TV, and it's just like that TV is on sale for blah blah blah. So this person's bill goes from seventy nine dollars to nine hundred and seventy nine dollars, and then it shows like a drone flying the TV off in this VR world. And I thought to myself like, they think we're all fucking retarded, and like, you they know, think we're big babies. And you know, considering that they have so much dirt on almost everybody, yeah, they might be right. Yeah. <laughs> they People, might be. It, it's crazy if you're if you're smart. If your AI fucking uh, Wi-Fi enabled dishwasher knows that your wife puts her vibrators in there to clean them, or like mm-hmm. your flashlight, the Walmart VR assistant knows it too. Oh yeah, and, shoot. that's crazy shit. Like, you sure you don't want to use the Cascade pods? You know they're better on that dildo than you think it is. <laughs> Your dongles are done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Kuai flashlight is ready. Ding. Oh yeah, ding. <laughs> like, <the> <laughs> like, damn, what the fuck, dude? What kind of? <laughs> I just thought, like, wow. And they make movies for us, which is right. Bad. Like, oh yeah, it gets they, worse. They think you're fucking some sort sort of like drooling shoulder chomper. And they're gonna make entertainment for you too, which is why She-Hulk is the way it is. So you can't really be mad at Disney. Well, you know? no, but at the same time, if you're as conscious as you and I are, you can still be mad as fuck. Oh, yeah. but the thing is, is that like w- 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 <laughs> yeah. what's crazy is the proverbial we, the yes. the the we that eats and breathes this shit to the point, but never contributes a damn thing. Exactly. It, it is the fat person from Wally. All of them riding around yeah. on those damn segways, was looking like, oh, like shit. How insensitive how, what they think of people of the future, but they were not wrong. No, not at because, all. Because that company got all the data from its fucking user base that it already needed. You know, they mm. were way ahead of the curve before you realized they knew you. <laughs> they knew you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And Welcome, my son, to the machine. That's fucking nuts. It's like, it like people use that movie Idiocracy, as yeah, like a, a way to explain today's world. And I honestly, mm-hmm. I don't think that even does it justice. I think when you look at the news now, it's dumber than Idiocracy. Like it's way dumber than that. It's fucking you, nuts. You will get no argument from me on that, man. Especially where I'm working at, dealing with uh, oh god, uh, you know sometimes. I get sick of the media, man. <laughs> I really do. I get, I get yeah. so sick of mainstream media. I get sick of public health media. I get sick of independent media sometimes. Because yeah. some of the crazy shit that just floats around out here, like say like you're trying your best to go ahead and get you know informative stuff, but here come misinformation. Yeah. She's She could be the most beautiful, dumbest woman you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It looks so good because in your mind it fits like whatever narrative they've created. You know, you're like, oh, mm-hmm. that does make sense. There, there would be, <laughs> you know, there. Oh, like, like it's like the, it's like the we talked about like the Mueller report thing. You know, where we were so dead set on like Russia was a bad guy, but we didn't want to say that the Chinese were bad for two years. Oh, you know? more than that, dude. Like we still owe them money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like. But like, so we still go to the Olympics with them. And then now that tone's changed. And it's just like, where, at what point do we stop just like literally eating everything they feed you? Right. You know, I, I guess, I guess that moment when you stop smelling it, you know what I mean? When yes. you start looking up and be like, yeah, I am a man. And then it's all of a sudden try to shut you down. It's like how they slowly took all the vapes out of like people's mouths this year. Like, did you notice that? Like they just straight up outlawed them. Like they're yeah, not legal to yeah, buy anymore, and it, people are so docile now that like they did it, and no one, nobody fought back to have like their right to purchase a jewel, which was <laughs> sad because I was sitting there telling people in Delaware about that. I was like, "Yo, you might want to fight to maintain your um, freedom of choice here to stay and able to vape, because these old people are happily trying to take this stuff away and get rid of an industry, which it sometimes is. they usually do." And the funny thing is, is that jewels are not accessible no more, but you can still buy Marlboros. 
which is oh great. yeah right so it's like if you want to know who made that fucking deal just think for four seconds like okay so cigarettes are still legal but i can't buy a jewel mm-hmm. that seems weird to me they're like oh you know the vapor though it's gonna hurt your lungs i'm like yeah but <laughs> the fucking warning on the tobacco box is like cancer 100 percent I mean, that or, like, it depends on the variations of that tobacco, but it's still is going to fuck your insides up. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, you like, saved me. Like, like, technically, chewing tobacco will fuck up not only your lungs, but it'll also fuck up the inside of your mouth and all that shit. But, but but Skull is still making all sorts of stupid cash. So it's That's like, thing, man. you know. It's Crazy. But if it, if it's like anything else that we talk about, it's got to be a point of interest and it's got to be a conflict there because somebody's making bankroll off of that stuff and they don't yeah. want you messing with that money like that. Yeah. Like, whereas, you know, yeah, vapes can mess with you, but at the same time, it was a little healthier. A little bit. Slightly. They started yeah. talking, to, you know what I mean? Still addictive, but like, it's not going to literally like rot your lungs and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you're not using damn things, right, which let's think about how the average person in the world is responsible. Ha! You know, it's so funny, too, because aren't aren't like weed vapes still available? Those are, but you got to go to the right spots to get them. That's, and then at the same time, it's like that's in so, limited that's supply. So funny. That's so funny to me. It's like you can't go buy a regular jewel, but nah. the weed vape is right there. I could oh, yeah, it yeah. cost $45. Like, we could have had this great lucrative um, weed bill, actually, but the governor in DE, he's so anti-drug. I guess even the sign of the weed plant scares the hell out of him. Yeah. So he he turned it down, not once, but twice. And I was like, it was a good deal. They like, don't, it, ah. If it makes sense, it's like a no thank you. Right. It's yeah. almost like insulting right. to them if you were to pitch an idea that, like, makes sense. You mm-hmm. Know? Well, you know, that's one of my sayings. I don't make no damn sense. Yeah, no, 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 no. And it's not supposed, that's the whole point. Is like the only way they get you is like they tell you enough things that are that don't make sense, but if you don't question it, it proves to them how far they can push things. If you just keep not questioning it and you know deep down somewhere that don't make no damn sense. (laughs) (laughs) They don't make no damn sense. But you don't care enough to like rock the boat, then they got you. That's it. You know? Yeah, because you know the one thing that scares anything around here is self reliance and mm-hmm. paying attention to like you can't be controlled. I mean, that's even yeah. in the dating game, dude. Like you know, I mean, many times like some of these uh quote quote strong uh significant others, I should say, <laughs> they yeah. so strong with themselves until they get insecure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you strong till you not yeah. punk ass. I yeah, say. yeah, it's just it's. And I think that's nothing too. Is like the. The in, the weird inflation of self, I think, makes people more... It reveals more about their insecurity than anything. And the delusion that follows. Yes. Yeah, I think the idea that, like... Like, think about this. There are people on Instagram. Like you said, I don't want to, like, gender blame here, so I'll say significant others on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and be, be and, cordial. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, like, they'll put, like, their Cash App link in their bio. Mm-hmm. And you start to think, like, what am I Cash Apping you for? Like what would what would be my option of cash apping you? I don't know you. Okay. You're putting up pictures of you and your kid and shit. All right. Looking all like trying to look tempting and alluring or whatever. And then like randomly when it fits like you're like, I'm just trying to make it single parent thing, you'll pop your kid up on a screen every now and again, you know? Mm. And then it's like, but what is it but my biggest question is always like, what is the cash app in your bio for? Like I don't are you do you offer do you paint houses? I mean <laughs> it, <laughs> I mean it's right there next to the Vimo and the, all the other stuff, you know? And then the link tree, which is like, ah, okay, if you just hit more, you see the link tree and you're like, I know what this is gonna lead to. Uh-huh. And, and you take a look at Bentley? Bentley? <laughs> yeah. Right. And right. you take a look at the living quarters and all that stuff, you know. Somebody and right. <laughs> somebody ain't suffering. <laughs> somebody ain't suffering over here. <laughs> Oh, I'm, whoops, I said she. This person, they, they, mm. they have an iPhone 14, but their fucking mattress is on the ground with no sheet on it. Right, on, right, right. You're trying you to know, be an independent, single, uh, genderless parent. The, 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 this this place has been staged. You know, yeah. it's kind of like that one episode of the Mini Bites that I made talk, where I said, I'm not your mark. 
Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's I'm like the wrong one trying to hit me up for sympathy and cash. It's not. Oh yeah. No. Way. Oh, we 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 both. Uh, no, no, both of us, man. <laughs> Hard no. to talk to at that point. I've had good friends hit me up for cash, and I've been like, "Dog, you better figure your shit out." <laughs> like, uh huh. How you have like thirty thousand followers and no money? Right. Like you put the you put the importance on the wrong number there, guys. Yeah, them bots are killing you, ain't they, son? That's what I say. Look at them. <laughs> yeah. All those, <laughs> all those like Saudi Arabia bleed it out. <laughs> yeah, all those Indian call center bots you hired they ain't fucking doing nothing for you. Oh uh, no, man. But you see, fuck. like. That, that's that gratification though that is pretty much what all that stock and bull is like you know have to fight against it every damn week yeah it's a weird isn't that funny you can see i had this guy hitting up on fucking instagram he's like he was like uh talking about hey i'm a dj blah 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 this and that you know he's got one post but he has thirteen thousand followers and then he's like you know, this guy doesn't know I've been, like, publishing music since I was 17. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. like, and then this guy's like, you got some talent. Um, You know, like, uh, maybe <laughs> maybe I could put you on my radio show. <laughs> and I go to his YouTube page, <laughs> and the video maybe has four views. Maybe. But I'm thinking, like, the correlation of 13,000 followers on Instagram to four views. Like, dog, you got to hit me with a different story than, like, you might have some talent. He ain't been tagging them videos like anything. <laughs> or posting them on Instagram. Like, what did you think? That your bot follower transfer is over? Like, you only paid them once. You know, that was for the Instagram count. Like, man, <laughs> what a fool. I was just like, dog, I'm not even going to respond to you, dude. I, I could talk shit to you. You know, I could show you my BMI publishing information and then just be an asshole, but I'm not gonna. How about that? I'm just gonna yeah. like, doing this for fun on the side, and it's like a, these are like passion projects to me, you know. Like, I, leave me alone, please. I mean, that's the world we live in, Marco. Like, because I think somebody, like I said before, I don't remember this person's name, but I remember they were on jams and maybe one time mm-hmm. came up out of the woodwork and said, "It's time for a comeback." I was like, "You were gone." <laughs> are you? <laughs> You know, I mean, I mean, I was like, yo, like, what the fuck? Okay, you were gone. Um, who you? What would you do? Oh, it's time for a comeback. Damn, yo. I, I mean, if you're gonna submit tracks, and I say this to anybody, if you're gonna submit tracks, submit tracks. Don't make this like a Dragon Ball Z episode or some shit. I don't care. I don't yeah. even care if you do like some new super form. Either way, I'm gonna hit you in the throat, you go down. Yeah. The point you're, is, it's like the public decide if you're worth following or whatever, you know, like or listening to or whatever you want to call it. Right. And just and like boring. just boring, pretentious ass stories, too. And I'm sitting there like, I don't care. Yeah. I just finished the show. I don't care. Like, I, know. I, I mean, I love the fans. I, I mean, I, and there's a lot of artists that I will never get into disagreements with. I care about them. And then, like, you know, <laughs> but but th- these outliers right here, these ones that had them 13,000 followers and all that guys, I think they big stuff. Think yes. that they done, done lived the high life, uh, yeah. did the Isaac Hayes thing. It's like, no, <laughs> I don't care about you at all. Uh, it's like, it's, uh, you know, I always look at that, that kind of attitude, like that person at one point before whatever they're making, whatever music they're making now, at some point was like very inspired by someone like Skrillex. <laughs> just like it's one guy and he makes a bunch of like electronic music and he's rich or whatever so i feel mm-hmm. like that that and then like the soundcloud rapper those two things had like a, a very severe influence on musicians like i think they just thought if i make something catchy enough that'll do it for me you know what i mean and then like when it doesn't i think they get in i think it gets inflated like what what do you mean if i have i have ten thousand followers how are they not buying my music it's like well you found those followers for free so you know like you're not putting your shit on a platform and you're not presenting yourself in a way that like as a business person it just looks like you're making music as a hobby which is cool ain't nothing wrong with that but yeah but if you're just putting your shit on soundcloud and youtube there's no monetary value in that you have to hit like a million views for your track at some point on youtube to actually make you money 
You know? And they keep moving the goalposts for that all the time because as soon as a whole lot of people reach that, it's gonna move up every single time. Yeah, dude, like fucking didn't Logan Paul and Jake Paul put a song out on YouTube or whatever, some rap song? Mm-hmm. That should go to show you exactly like what the industry thinks about <laughs> like the give it a fuck about whatever you make, you know? Oh yeah, it they was designed to chew and that. spit you out. Exactly. And if kids will buy that, then they'll fucking, they don't, no one's, there's no more like, oh, it's like, it's this weird thing where the authenticity of the artist is no longer in question. It doesn't matter. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, who dropped the, the like the fucking CGI rapper? Well, yeah. 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 Like, that should go to show you they could fucking, they can, they can make this up. They don't even need you no more. Mm hmm. You know? Disposable goods at that point, man. Hell yeah. That's like but when you... they make so many Jurassic Park movies. All them, all them shits, all those dinosaurs aren't real. They can well, no. Those. <laughs> well, no. But at the same time, it's like, at least have some sort of a plot to tie it together, motherfuckers. Right. Running right. on E at that point, I see. Uh, <laughs> but you know what, ending. though? That ending in Jurassic Park Dominion is not good. Mm-mm. I mean, what yeah. what you need? That's why you need to get the extended cut so you can get the fixed I'm version. Not watching a fucking extra twenty minutes of that. You know, someone was like, "Hey, man, you want to see twenty more minutes?" I'm like, "Fuck off, get out of here, man." Dude, dude, we live in the day and age when when Spider Man No Way Home went back to theaters. We're living in a day and age where like Avatar is going back in the theaters. I mean, I saw that no, again, you, right. you, you know, the first one because yeah. <laughs> you didn't get enough of it the other times. Everyone swears too. Like Avatar was so long ago. That's crazy to think about. Mm, <laughs> I mean, it's going to look like shit. Like compared to modern CG, it's not going to look good. No, because you would hope that things would evolve then, but you can tell when somebody took a budget cut somewhere. Yeah. I think they showed a video of um, Way of Water not too long ago, and that CGI looked pretty bad. So yeah. I'm wondering, like, you know, at the end of the day, what am I supposed to be excited about? Because apparently I draw a blank. Yes, I don't know what the I don't even know what the excitement for the first Avatar was. Was it kind of cool and interesting? Sure. Was for 2009, yeah. yeah. So outside of that, though, I don't. I don't know what you want from me. It's like, what do you want? With their CG, their cartoon. It's a cartoon movie. I mean, this is this, yeah, and this is uh, Cameron's passion project because God knows what they did to Terminator. So I mean, you know, it's like Amen. this is what he got in the got in the pipeline. You know, this is where like you hit that world record movie. You make that world record movie, and it's kind of like it's like the Oscars curse, like how Cuba Gooding Jr. fell into it. Like he got his Oscar out the gate, and then. Every movie after that was just like not, but maybe that was his point. Maybe he was like, I'm going to make the one thing that puts like a price on my name. And after that, it doesn't matter what I'm in. As long as I work for like four or five years, I'm straight for the rest of my life. I mean, yeah. And he can also use that for leverage, but see, once again, it's kind of like the same thing. What I was going to say about music. It's like, whose fault is that? Is the, is it the artist's fault for getting complacent? Mm. Or is it the business's fault for designing such a way to try to make it seem like that, keep them in relative ease? Ooh, that's a ooh, that's a you good know. One. I think, I think both. I think mm. when the artist gets complacent, the industry notices. But if the complacency creates revenue, the industry's going to be like, "Well, that's my new standard. Why would I work any harder?" You know. But either way, it doesn't win out for the artist in the end. No, it's kind of like how me, you, and Moose one time talked about um, YouTube filmmakers at one point becoming like the inspiration for filmmakers in Hollywood. And we talked, we joked about that with like the Batman has very much like a YouTube fan film feel to it. And except like if, if they had $4 million to make a fan film and not, you know, only right. $1,000 or whatever. <laughs> and, yeah. um, and in like, we all joked about it, but we all said the more we went back to watch it, the more that really kind of felt true. There was a lot yep. of like fan film ish shit in there. And I think the industry just thinks that's the standard. Fuck it. This Batman fan film on YouTube has 2 million views. Why wouldn't we just do that? True. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, oh God, I, you know, that's the thing about DC films. I mean, I could go all day about superhero films, but the yeah. thing is when it comes to DC films though, 
it's like the answers are right there, but they don't <laughs> go for any of them. No, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, like, yeah. like, like the whole Wonder Woman sequel could have been oh, a lot better than Wonder what the Woman. hell we got. Oof, that Wonder Woman. Sequel. I mean, that that hurts. I mean, that that's a kidney stone right there. Yeah, the, and you know, it's and it's funny because. Black Adam could be whatever kind of movie, but if you just have, if the last 30 minutes is like The Rock's Black Adam kind of losing his moral ground, and then here comes Superman. Right. The, the, like, here comes Henry Cavill for the, just the last 20 minutes, okay? At Paul least. Is right with the world. That's at it. least. Just to, just to at least reestablish that, like, yeah, we know we're putting Ben Affleck mostly back in the Flash. We're not really into this Michael Keaton Batgirl universe thing. So we're retconning, and the way you only make that good is just give Henry Cavill 20 minutes of Black Adam, and that's it. And that's mm-hmm. you're saying, like, the answers for DC are right there. They're right there. You know, like, so you either fucking go with it. Like, we joked about how when the Batman went to HBO Max, Mortal Kombat, that fucking reboot, beat it in streaming. It numbers. did. It Mortal sure Kombat did. For a year. Nope. And we all know how we feel about that Mortal Kombat movie. Real J360 fans know <laughs> how we feel about this movie. That movie is bad, yo. <laughs> yes, that is a bad movie. Like not even. All, all, all you, all you soda heads out there, know <laughs> how we you feel about this movie. Yes, you, you know exactly what what time it is when it comes to the fucking Mortal Kombat movie. But good lord, that... Batman on streaming numbers is like, come on, dog. You gotta, you gotta read the writing on the wall here. Mm-hmm. And, and what a wall! It, what, what writing it was! Damn. <laughs> oh, and like, how I mean, know, how do you feel about the Black Adam trailer? How, what do you? How do you feel about that? Another another overhyped mess with the Rock in it. Uh, thank you. I, I mean, I mean, I, like I'm not excited about that movie at all. Like, no. it would have been fine if it was him and Shazam, maybe, but like, it's yeah. not. No. That's what I thought it was going to be. They made it seem for years like it was going to be a Shazam versus Black Adam movie. Yeah. I mean, they're banking on the idea of this man is an anti-hero, which, you know, in a way, these movies, give or take, don't really serve that right. You know? Yeah. And And then, like, their selling point is, oh, we're going to fight the Justice Society of America. And it's like... Who's that, though? Right. Who even is that in this universe? We don't even know who that is. What are you I mean, the about? most recognizable figure you would know of is Hawkman and maybe to an extension, Dr. Fate. But at the same time, it's like... Yeah. Okay? Yeah, like, what does that mean for me as a fan? I don't understand here. And then, you know, I'm getting kind of tired of the whole anti-hero versus the whole superhero team group dynamic and shit. Like, You're the, my the, mind, the, yeah. the, the, the boys have done it. Yes, and the boys did it. They've done it perfectly so far. So you can't really, there's, you're hey, but version, you know, yeah, it's crazy. It's so like crazy. like the third yeah. season's all all right, but you know, I don't really care. I really don't even want to support Amazon Prime like anything. Uh, exactly. You know, it's like Power shit going on too right now, right? The whole Lord of the Rings, whatever it is that they're doing. Yeah, everybody's trying to do high fantasy right now. <laughs> And there's no excitement in it. Like, no. like, well, I mean, House of the Dragon has it because everybody hated season eight. So, yeah, that still has that whole, you know, we can hate watch. <laughs> we can hate watch and stuff, you know? But go anywhere but up for most people. That, yeah. That's about right. Yeah. And you see Georgia R. R. Martin coming on there to say, like, this is what I have envisioned. When you're finishing the book, you bastard. That's what I thought was supposed to happen, wasn't it? It's not supposed to come back till he finished the next segment of books. Buddy, we'll have a chance of getting Half Life Three before we ever get that damn book. Fuck, man. That's what I'm. You know, I'm thinking that right off the bat. I'm like, shit. I'm 35 now. Well, we're both in our 30s. Uh, Yeah, yeah, make make room for 70, bro. Yeah, it's like a, it's like Remedy and then Rockstar being like a, being like, oh, we're gonna come back and make a Max Payne remaster. And I'm like, fuck off. Mm -mm, No, I'll believe that when I see that. Like, it needs to be in my hand. I'm gonna buy that in physical form this time to be like yeah it's real (laughs) yeah yeah oh it's gonna be just like duke nukem forever then but at least yeah dude i don't know man i don't know yeah it's 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 to the point where when they tell you that this stuff is coming and you know damn well there's been some leeway here it could either be like putting lipstick on a pig or they did not even get past the damn script writing stage yet that's a hundred percent true that's a hundred percent true yeah 
<laughs> I, mean, I mean, aren't we still waiting on a Final Fantasy VII remake? Technically, technically, the 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 other well, it's not even the other half. It's pretty much like what one. It's like one fourth is done or something like that. This is must be. Dog. Wow, what the hell? So chances are, what is going to be like? See, this is where you know Square Enix is full of themselves at this point because yeah. if they start releasing that shit like two point one or like two point five or all that kind of, it's like no, stop this bullshit. This is what it should have been. Complete it. Yeah, because those guys are old now. All them people that worked on that stuff, they got to be up there in age. So you know, like yeah, well, that's like the problem that uh, Halo's having right now, where it's like, what was it going to be, a free to play game, or like, should you have just sold the campaign part as like a thirty dollar game and then just made all the multiplayer free through Game Pass? You know what I mean? Like, what could have done what that? Going to be like, what was this supposed to be exactly? And now the whole game's all fucking fractured. <laughs> Everything that Battlefield wished it was. That's it. I- I, you know what's so crazy? You're right, because Battlefield was a mess. Battlefield was bad. To the point where it just... I don't know if that franchise is coming back, because usually they'd be saying some stuff against Call of Duty right now, but... I mean, nah. even, even Cyberpunk is getting, like, a second wind. That's crazy to think about. But Battlefield, like, no. People just dropped it. They were like, I'm not mm-hmm. playing this no more. That's crazy. I mean, anytime a game comes out and makes Fallout 76 look good, That's something a- is up. That's a yeah. That's a that's some sort of a award. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> is an like achievement. Imagine. Yeah. Oh my I don't. I, I don't really. I I know what I want to say. I want to have that hope for like things to get better. Yeah. Stop me. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? mean? I know. It's like it's like that. It's like you know the war will never end, and I'll always be fighting, but. Damn. Yeah. It's just like at some point you just kind of want to go like, fine, I get it. Everything sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you kind of don't want to do that yet. Yeah, it's like that part from uh, Alien Resurrection where like the Ripley clone found all seven of the other ones and that one that was still living <laughs> yeah. that kept going on. I'm like, we all feel what you feel. It's like the end of um, Endgame, you know, when they're sitting there and, and Steve Rogers is on the bench and like, you know, and he's like, you want to do whatever? And he's like, no. No, I don't think I will. Like, like when someone's oh, like, hey, you don't want She-Hulk? And I'm like, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think, think I'm fine. Thank you. Like, mm-hmm. I just learned to do that. Just to go, just to separate myself. But don't even get involved in the conversation. Just say no. Like, you know, when I was a do. kid, I used to like that character, man. Like, you know, yeah. I used to love a lot of those characters. And then you see their movie forms. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, Fuck you. Yeah. And then the thing is, it's like, it's it's not even that because like the books will always be good. Like, shoot, Marvel back from like what the 60s all the way into the yeah, I'm even gonna go as far to say the 90s. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yep. Like here, I'll take Heroes Reborn over fucking um Whatever's Civil War II any now. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like when it comes to that, because yeah, it was exciting, got you away from real life, and it was fun. Mm. Nowadays, because oh, I saw the movie, and the movie takes center stage of everything. Yep. That's the way that character is going to be now. Yeah. So I'm like, oh fuck. And now what's going to happen is the comic book has to be forced to fit that narrative, not the other way around. Yeah. You know, remember way back when when we thought like when they had just launched Superior Spider-Man when it was like that Doc Ock like mind meld story. Everyone was like, yeah. this is so shit. Remember that? I wish that was the worst thing we were dealing with. Well, in terms of comic books. you you want to know it's crazy to me. I I I thought it was weird. That's all it was. It was I just trippy. I just it was trippy yeah trippy. yeah that's it yeah like it I, you know it's one of them kind of things because how many times can you go around saying the same old story over and over again? Yeah. The book has to refresh itself. It's kind of like how there's a well you know everybody knows about Venus, but Janika has always been around now. She's pretty mm-hmm. much part of the family. So there's like five Ninja Turtles, technically six with Venus being back. Yeah. The thing is, it's like you're going to have to either make make room for it or just don't read it no more. Or just know that you had your fun and you're done. Yeah. You it's just the era. same way. Yeah. yeah. Like with Superior Spider-Man, it was good. Because I'll take that over fucking Brand New Day. Remember that shit? Yeah. Anybody was complaining about Superior Spider-Man obviously didn't suffer through Brand New Day and then another that's, day. That's what I'm saying is like... Uh. I mean, 
we at the moment we so overreacted and then it was like marvel was like oh yeah you want to see how bad we can make comic books look at everything now mm -hmm. like everything now is just on both sides like marvel dc it's like all the indies are now kicking ass oh yeah like you know alt nera comics is doing so great um there's another like alt nera comics they're actually um they, we actually work with them believe it or not you know what i mean yeah. that whole community there I think you talked to him a couple of times too. Shout out to Pete, by the way. Keep doing yeah. it, bro. Uh, speaking of which, like, um, there's another comics company I was talking to too. I can't think of the name right now because I got like so many things going on upstairs, like yeah, yeah. what the next episode is. But um, they're pretty important too. And you know what's crazy is like if you if like people like to kind of uh, talk crap about um, Todd McFarlane. You know, making him seem like he was like out of control, like not wanting to take these like studio ties for all of his like licensed properties or whatever. And then you think like you could have sold out a bunch of your cartoon characters, right? Or whatever you want to call them. That's what he calls them sometimes. And uh and so the funny thing was that like, would you rather have had that or like how well Invincible turned out with Amazon? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I would have if I'm a comic creator, like the closest thing to reading the comic is watching how they at least made invincible pretty accurate to what you were reading right you know, right right graphically and and the intensity of the show had mm. you turned that into like a netflix series or something for whatever live action thing it would have ended up like that what was that last like netflix superhero show they told about <laughs> failed with um with like that what what the hell was even that show it was like that show they launched it's supposed to be like a like an Eternals type cast, you know what I'm talking about? I, I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the name of it. And that, so perfect example is just even that. Like you know, Netflix had it. You know, you saw it with Tim Timothy Oliphant in it or whatever. Yeah, he was in there. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You mean, oh, got the the Umbrella Family? That? No, it's the other one. It was oh like wait 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 the Jupiter the Jupiter yeah. family thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah that one millions, that one yeah millions per episode and nobody liked it and imagine being that comic book creator like yo you ruined this for me what did I you mean do? yeah and, and that's all Todd McFarlane did not want again that's it so he's not crazy for not wanting that let's be mm, frank like no no but no. you know like all the people that took special care of Todd McFarlane's um work i don't even know if they're still working in the industry or not because i mean he his stuff was good around the time where like you know before the first spawn movie right yeah. like the, the spawn animated series on hbo was damn good those still phenomenal fun. to this day i bought those I've had yeah those same yeah and that shit was awesome on, and then they put them on like amazon <laughs> free i was like damn what the hell well you know i can't can't speak for syndication and licensing yeah I mean, you're gonna you got money man i mean, yeah, I, mean, I, mean I mean if you're gonna run with it run with it I mean, yeah, like, home, boy. you're getting that money back from hbo yeah. and amazon yeah, i mean shit cut you're, the check yeah that's what i'm saying that's what, like everyone's like oh tar doesn't want to sell it out to the company i'm like no dude like why would you really independent like let him make the money and not only that, the whole King Spawn series is doing great. But actually, isn't he published in DC or something like that now? He's, help, yeah, he's actually helping those companies stay afloat. Isn't that right? <laughs> That's uh, there it is then. Right. And he's there also it is. making all the toys for all the all the collectors' versions of the toys he makes for DC. Oh, that man is just rolling in the dough. And Shit. everybody called him nuts. <laughs> everybody uh, four years ago, they were like, "Oh, he's crazy, dude." That guy's gonna mess it up for himself. I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, hey, yeah, so let that yeah. be a lesson to any of you out there. Yeah. If people will go ahead and try to chime at you or try to mock you for taking control of your destiny and you're winning, you're doing fine. Yeah. Stay yes. the course. Yeah. Keep 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 going as far as you need to because dare I say it, all these damn things are falling apart. That's why, if anything else, they keep trying to grab people as influencers and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this will stabilize. Don't you worry. We'll pay you what you're owed. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Gonna pay you, they're gonna pay you in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's as that's as good as it'll get for you. Yeah, if that monopoly money just keeps rolling in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bitcoin. Yeah, but if the fucking energy grid goes down during this heat spike, good luck getting to it. Uh huh. Yeah. Which is funny. You would think that after all the many times of crypto and all that kind of stuff, they never tell you how to use it. We're all still pretty much in debt. 
Yeah. Oh, and then like the idea of me actually paying my student loan. Oh no, that's terrible. Hey, buy some crypto. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh god. NFT motherfucker. NFT. Isn't that crazy? Like they're gonna it's crazy. They're gonna teach courses on crypto and NFTs in art classes, and then all you're gonna realize is like they're teaching you in something that does not exist anymore. I mean, play money is great and everything, but I'm into the real stuff. I where you have, know, we're gonna have food stamps in crypto. I'll be. I mean, with yes. You. Hell yeah! Give me. I mean, I mean, card, least, I can get something with that. I mean, at least that's real. You know, that's yeah, like. Yeah. Well, I can go to the gro- I can go to uh, the grocery stores. I'll go to Ralph's real fast. Watch this with two hundred bucks. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I'm <gonna> go <laughs> Yo, yo, we gonna eat tonight. Have you gone into a gas station and seen one of those like ATM Bitcoin machines? Dude, there is no way. There I'm is sh- no way to use that shit. I was looking at that. I was like, that is I'm a out. Scam, right. Like, that's, like, that's like, someone about to skim my credit card information. That has to be. That it is. Be. I mean, because the whole thing is not safe. And why are they always in like the shabbiest damn gas station? Right off like the that one, too. So they yeah, can get like, your information and split. Yeah, like that one gas station that you don't go to unless you have to. Yeah, and even it's then, it's at the lowest tier of the line. Active your worlds. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or, or every every other place is closed because you know COVID. COVID don't come out past ten o'clock. Oh yeah, 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 we all know that the germs go to sleep once the sun goes down. Yeah, right. You know, like like ain't, 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 ain't nobody working night shift or any of that shit. No, no, no. no. <laughs> that was so funny. Like, oh yeah, just close all the businesses by eight p.m. That'll be better. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Just give it time to gestate. Just float around the building for a long time, or what? The mm. fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, granted, like allegedly it's over, but you know it ain't. What it is that hospitalizations are not as high as they were, and people are not really dying from it because some were actually got vaccinated but not freaked out about it. So little things like that. And then there's yeah. the ones that um somehow are now washing their hands, but then they go ahead and they touch a rash and get monkeypox anyway. And say, uh-huh. but I ain't got no bumps on me. You don't need bumps, damn it. It comes in forms. Yeah. If you if you're pretty good on hygiene or you're a germaphobe, you were probably fine this whole time. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you might have gotten a sniffle, and you'll get over it. You'll be all right. Well, what with the flu still out there, ready to kick everybody's ass. I mean, you know, it's just like, <laughs> I'm like when they go like this could be the darkest winter ever. <laughs> you're just like yo, enough, okay? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're over eighty, every winter is a dark winter. Don't you know, you know it? Like it's shit, a twenty five degree it's wind chill alone to kill you. Yeah. It's so hot that they're like finding old people in their houses, you know, not COVID related, but they're they've long since passed. It's just that hot. So what? Yeah. What now? We're gonna vaccinate for the heat? Probably not. Uh, you know, I, I just think it's interesting. <laughs> uh, you, you gotta love how we're all like real casual, and passive about this shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> think about it, dude. The last two years was hell. Like, I mean, people was hell. You're just like, damn. I just want to be able to like not have something on my face, and go outside. That's all I want. It put yeah. perspective on like what is important to you. Well, you yeah, know? but you know, if most people that would really know what is important would do what they can to maintain that. Like when yeah. you look at like stuff going down, you would want to maintain your home base. The little trophy thought that you keep putting your money into, she'll be fine. But you yeah. yourself. You need to maintain your house, your electric, your food. And yeah. while we're on the subject, wash your stinking ass. <laughs> you know, things like that. Yeah, it was in a Public Enemy song, too. Flip and Flay was like, wash your ass. Well, not only that, he stole that from Red Fox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then dumped I mean, the funky homo sapien. Yeah, you know. I mean, you just got to pay attention. It's just like, it's funny though, because like when we all got our stimuluses, everybody's like, yeah, I'm going to get me some Reeboks, boy. I'm going to get me some stuff. And then I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy some, uh, let's see, some juice, some soap. <laughs> yeah, put that money away as well. You mo- yeah, spend it on the shit that you need. And then whatever is left over, put that shit in your back pocket. That's all mm-hmm. you should have been doing. That's so yeah, and, and even if you got money like that, why would you tell anybody? That, People went right there to tell everybody damn business, and then he, as soon as you say something, that's so crazy. Like you couldn't, you could find like boxes of masks, but like they were selling out of TVs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which goes to show you, like, wow, materialism over like mental or physical health is obviously number mm-hmm. one. Like absolutely, someone bought some, you know, eighty-five inch Vizio with like not very good picture accuracy, but 
hey man it's a big ass tv <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be back next year to do it too because yeah. i'm sure i'm sure the black friday hits this year oh damn i would have loved to have been over there and i'd love to have been over there in ca we ought to have friends giving oh, i don't know yeah. i might try to do that but Dude, like, what did you, how do you think how do you think this black friday goes with like all the recession fear that everybody has Oh, they're gonna be out there anyway. That's it's gonna be the too. same damn shit, yeah. and it's gonna be twice the crowd because there's gonna be people out there wanting to get in the fights, and there's gonna be people out there wanting to film it. And not to yeah. mention, like, hey, I get free scrambles because nobody's paying attention to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I agree. I yeah, think people, it's, it's... I think all the recession fear only goes to your gas. Like, but if you can get a TV for half off, even though you can't really afford it, and they'll put you on a credit card from that from that place, a Best Buy credit card. Oh man, the retail credit cards are fucking crazy. Like, yeah. you know, and it's not just like, yeah, you know, you get the you get the allowance, you get the ability to do all that stuff, but it's the upcharge that follows and people don't pay attention to that damn mm-hmm. interest. You might as well just go ahead and get something from uh Chase. And yeah. I'm saying that only because you know, because yeah. they they're at the top of the food chain on that. It's so funny like uh I have I finally got a credit card for the first time after like 10 years of not having one cuz I just didn't like the that like anxiety of like oh fuck did I forget to pay it you know Right and I only use it for gas Yeah that's like, a smart way to go about I, it and I get percentages back on it so one month when I went to go pay off the credit card thing or at the end of the month I was paying one of the bills and it says hey you know you have like 250 bucks cash back and I'm like hell yeah and I ended up just paying the credit card bill with the money back from the credit card I mean, that's smart, though. Yeah. I mean, like, at the end of the day, see, some people be like, man, you fool, you need to take the money out. It's like, yeah, it's your money, but when you use it to pay a bill and stuff like that, that's actually pretty smart. So you yeah. never have to worry about this ever again. No, but I'm people not, don't I'm ever... put an Xbox on it, that's for damn sure. Because like, right. if I'm going to get it, I want that to be a one-time purchase and never think of it again. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, like, but you know, it's funny though, like, when you're being responsible and you're actually giving a damn, people always got to be like, you, you, you ain't doing that right, man. That ain't the way to be about it. Oh, I ain't yeah. trying to be in debt like you, you punk motherfucker. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, when you, you think know? responsibly, everyone takes that like offensively sometimes, and you're like, what? What the mm-hmm. fuck? It's like everybody going to the man, it'd be like a you ever seen Logan's run back in the day? Yeah, it'd be like everybody getting in line to go to Carousel because they think it's a special place to be at. I'll yeah. be looking at that shit. I'll be like, nah, motherfucker. I'm, I'm getting out of this it. bubble city. I am not going to any place because <laughs> it's like uh it's like you know, like when you're getting older, right? Like you're after 21, you've been drinking with friends or whatever, and then at some point you like get old enough to realize, like, I'm gonna go to the party, I'm not gonna really get drunk with everyone, and then everyone like, oh, I'm not really gonna have a drink, and they look at you like a traitor. Right. But, you, but you're like you have to drive home in your car that you have like a lease payment on, and like you have bills, <laughs> you know, so if you get in a car accident, like, it tumbles your life out of control. But if I don't get into an accident from not drinking, I'll be cool tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And then they look at you like, you're not going to have a fucking drink, dude. And you're like, nope. Hey, nope. <laughs> you're <kidding not."> that, <laughs> you're, you're, you're the enemy. After that, it's like, you're never invited to a party. Everyone's like, oh, that, that fool's lame. You're like, okay, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm also the one with no two DUIs and all that kind of shit going on. And I have to go and go to Alcoholic Anonymous and always got to go ahead for all this other shit because, you know, some of those places are a requirement in order for you to even get some, get somewhere. It's just, it's fucking crazy. So, but the the reason why that is because motherfuckers don't want to be responsible. Exactly. You know, but it's it's like anything. I, I always have to make fun of that shit too. It's like how people try to use the alpha beta insignia on things too. Yeah. And I'm always like this. I'm like, you know, personally, I found uh fraternities to be kind of fucked up even when I was a kid. And I was like, you know, I don't want to be a part of that shit because I also don't like people. Yeah, but the I, thing is, yeah, I was like, uh have like a weird um remember what was that like uh legalized alpha- cults, boy. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, like to me, frats always had like the the appeal of like what was that Nixium casting agency that was actually like a sex cult in LA somewhere? Mm-hmm. That's what frats remind me of. Yeah, like, I mean, and they they were weird about being that entangled with other people that deeply fr- that you don't even know, by the way. Mm-hmm. Which is weird. I mean, and it's damn close too, because I mean, like, oh, say like you know, you try to hang out with people. Oh, the, the brotherhood don't like that. Man, fuck the brotherhood. I'm going to go ahead and chill over here for a little bit. Like, I'm going to have some fun over here. And, you know, then they go by, like, different names and all that kind of stuff. And then they go and do, like, all those rituals and shit. And I'll be sitting there and be like, man, 
y'all yeah. are a bunch of fucking dorks. Yeah, and then I also, yeah, too. you know, and I also told my dad this. he fell out laughing. I said, dad, you know, if I, if I ever wanted to go ahead and be a problem to people and then go ahead and just cause nothing but ruckuses and get rich doing it, I might as well join a fucking gang. Cause at least then when I'm in jail and shit like that and I come back out, I'm a fucking man. I'll be yeah. going ahead and be like, yeah, you know, I get all sorts of bragging rights and stuff. Yeah. Shit. Like, you get some weird, like, street cred, at least, like, but in the frat, like, everyone just thinks you're, like, a rapist or something. Like, there's no positive that gets spun out of guys who are in a frat. Nah. You know I mean, I mean? Same could be to like some of the people in sororities too. Now news don't cover it this much, but when does news cover certain things like uh-huh. they're supposed to? True. No. I mean, like sororities do a lot of crazier shit than uh, fraternities do. So that's I mean, the wildest stuff. One of the last things I had seen is in the news about frats was like a uh, one boy was like literally poisoned to death with liquor, and exactly died on like his first night at the fraternity. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy, sad to think about. And then one boy was like sodomized to where it caused like rupturing in his like intestines. And his and ass died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking, I just think I'm like, is and, that and, worth it? And and they do all this stuff because uh, brotherhood. Yeah. Knows. Yeah. I mean, but you know what's worse than a frat too? Um, a lot of secret societies too. Kind of like, uh, let's see, if anything, that's like a big version of a frat. Uh, like yeah. you know, like uh, Freemasons and all that kind of stuff, and Speaking all that stuff which, that they do. I saw, um, I was driving home the other day and I saw somebody who had a Freemason like thing on the back of their car. Uh huh. And I was like, oh, interesting. And I looked at what kind of car they're driving, and it's a Honda Fit. <laughs> and my first thought was, like, <laughs> for all that butt fucking and bloodletting, that's the best they hook you up with is a Honda Fit. Like, if you're gonna be like cutting at me and poking with my butthole and shit. I better get like a Rolls Royce. I want some. I cool. mean, or a fucking Bentley or something. Yeah, you would think, you know. Better than a Honda Fit. Are you? <laughs> Imagine that. Some fool's like, all right, man. Pulls up his pants behind you. He's like, "Welcome to the Brotherhood." And you're like, "What do I get?" And they're like, "Well, you know, those long car rides. I want to get you home with something reliable." It's like a fucking Honda commercial. All of a sudden, it's like, "Here's a Honda Fit." I'd have been like, "Are you?" I would have gone nuts. Are you fucking kidding me? I could have bought that shit with my own money. Oh, oh man, we, we 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 should have just gave you a Prius or some shit. I yeah, mean, at least give me a Tesla. <laughs> like, oh, oh, good lord! That like, what did you win? <laughs> I mean, like those were people. Yeah, like, okay, so when, like that. <laughs> excuse me, dude. Mm-hmm. That's what you got for the Freemason gang claim. I'd rather be in the Crips. Yeah, yeah, right. Or or being the gorillas or Latin kings or something like you know, For real, like, like come like, on, like yo. Yeah, be 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 in a be in something where it's like you know you get that legendary status just because you cap somebody or some shit. Like oh, like yeah. they they over there trying to have butt sex with each other or something. It, it's yeah. it's wild, you know. Like, you mean, it's you know, like the girls can't come in here, right? And they can like what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, at Why? that point, I, at that point, I'm throwing the jacket and I'm just walking out. No, if I wasn't yeah, me. Yeah. But yeah. but when I was you know when I went to my first college and I saw them out, I saw them out at at night doing that stuff too. I was like, yeah, man, keep that shit down. Like, that's why I hate dorm life. Or, oh no, that's yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah, they right that? there with 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 their barbecue pit going on and yelling out the creed. I'm like, shut the fuck up, damn it! So nuts. It like it makes you realize too how much of that is embedded in like especially this cult like this country's history like it's literally Mm -hmm. in the history books like presidents knowing each other because of that that's fucking crazy to think about but you know quite a lot of stuff is high school and um yeah that's definitely it like you know you see it all the time like even us as streamers right now it's like they'll be like hey you're not getting the views that you should i'm like i think we're doing just fine we're we're peaking. We're 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 doing okay. Yeah. Oh no, you got to get those crazy numbers, man. You know, over this, over that. It's like, well, you mean like those two over there that are taking a break because of mental health now? Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Like, it. You know, it it becomes that thing where it's like, what do you? You can't serve two masters, man. You either want to make the content, and then and the time that you have for your own mental sake, you can market it when you're ready. You know, like, mm. but don't drive yourself. Yeah, it's funny. There's a there's a grip of those streamers that have just quit after grinding for two years hard as hell. I mean, personally, I'd like to say, like, 
taking care of yourself is always important. It should be always a priority. All right. Yeah. The problem is, is that some of these people go to after parties. Some oh, of these yeah. people do like things that are outside of what the usual is outside yeah. of the work. Some people yep. celebrate too much. You need a break yep. from partying. You don't yeah. need a break from the dream. You need a break from party and you need like, sometimes business just needs to be done. I hate to say that. It, you got to treat it like a job. That's what you have right. to do. You have to treat it like I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to work right now. That's it. Yeah. And then I clock out and whatever. I'll have a beer later if I really need to unwind. But yeah, I think that's what ends up happening too. I think they're just, it's a weird kind of a uh, weird gig to have. I mean, I, I like when people ask me about jams and like, like, like the, the, the peaks and like all this stuff, like, Oh, like are, are, are the numbers as high as they need to be? It's like, why the fuck would I care? I'm over here putting on a three hour show. Yeah. If your tracks, why don't you market it if you want people to hear your song? I mean, like, I mean, that's kind of a give and take, right? Like, I yeah, put it on, I do the whole show. I'm, I'm the, I'm the driving force behind it. All I'm asking of you is just, hey, tell it all you're following that your track is going to be premiered here. Yeah, and at the same time, it's like we're all here to have fun. That's the yeah. whole fucking point. Like, yeah. I'm going to make my money anyway. But the thing is, it's like it's not the main goal. Yeah. Unlike certain uh, people that have hot tub streams and shit like that, I actually like doing this fucking content. Yeah. You know, it's just like, you know, nothing wrong with making well. money doing it, but at the same time, it shouldn't be the overall thing. You, you should want to like people and stuff like that. But I that's how I know I'm making it. Yeah. Like because saying? I think what ends up happening is like you see some of those streamers and they, they start to lose it. And then the first sign is they start to turn on their chat. Like they start mm -hmm. to turn on those people and then like, yeah, like they they try to embody these personas and then and then everybody after that point like picks up political ideology to stick by because then that builds a following and then you end up mm -hmm. serving all these masters in your life that aren't you that aren't your original like original uh, like reason for doing it you know right it's it's a lot when like i mean how many of those streamers have even taken their own lives Quite a yeah. lot of them, but you yeah. really never hear about it unless somebody doing true crime will talk about it. And then, yeah. you know what gets me about those true crime things? Hmm. When the person talks like they were actually fucking there. That gets on yeah. my damn nerves sometimes. Yeah. It's like, That's you gorgeous. weren't there. Yeah. You know, as far as I know, you weren't there. You were there. You got some explaining to do to the government, but... <laughs> <laughs> How are you explaining it like you were right in the room when this fool cut this lady apart or whatever? Like, I mean, suspect me. Like, yeah. See, and I'm gonna go make a view about this. I'm just <laughs> yeah. Norm McDonald has this joke, and he goes, "You know, I watch those things, and then like, um, everybody on there just goes like, uh, oh, you know, when this person before they were murdered, you know, every time they'd walk in a room, the room would just light up." And he goes, "But how yeah. come like, how come like you never hear? No one ever sees. Goes that can't be true for every single person." No. So you never hear the story where someone's like, oh, that guy used to walk and I used to think like, God, that guy's such a fucking a asshole. Fucking asshole. <laughs> and it's just like, well, and that's like you're saying, it's like it's these like bloviated points of view. So that that person, that person going, oh, they lit up a room. Mm -hmm. He's like, but that, that person doesn't know shit from the person they're talking about because they're on the fourth investigation discovery show. Right, another dead woman. You know, it's like, dude, you don't know these people. You can't be saying shit like that. I mean, what's even crazier is it's like this: light up a room, huh? Why would I care if they were an arsonist? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, little yeah. things like that. Like you know, every time he came into the room, he liked to talk to all the ladies, and you find out that like, I got murdered because he fucked some guy's wife or whatever, and you're like, oh, maybe, maybe that was his mo. <laughs> oh. You know what I mean? Like, so okay. Or, or the funny part is, it's like when they say. He was so nonviolent. He had no enemies. No, I'm sure he had one. Uh, yeah, I I'm sure he had one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, obviously, and then and then what they do at the end is they reveal like how many enemies he actually had. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you know, well, he didn't really get along with the neighbor, and he called his boss a piece of shit all the mm -hmm. time. And he slapped his son around every night before bed. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, the, I mean, there. the guy was a pillar of the community in the wrong way. <laughs> you know, it was just. Like, it's nuts, yo. Like it's, it's so crazy. It's kind of, so you know, the the main villain of uh, Murder on the Orient Express was loved more than this motherfucker. I mean, let's just <laughs> say it like right now. Yeah. yeah, that's why you're supposed to act surprised when the butler did it during Clue. 
Mm. He was so helpful. Right, right, okay. right. There's a reason why he gave you your pills early. Yes. Shh. It's time for bed. Make sure everyone's knocked out and shit. Mm-hmm. Now I got plenty of Narcan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink your tea. <laughs> yeah, drink That's it. Like, holding the bottom of the cup up so you fucking choke on it and shit. Well, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'm helping her get air. No, you're not. You're covering the air. Oh, shut up, damn yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, you don't understand that the lights are on. She can't sleep and the whole pillow's over her face. She's struggling with it. You're like, shh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait. Dang. I mean, dare I say it, like, I don't know which one of us is going to leave the earth first, but I do know I'm going to have some jokes that day. <laughs> I'm going to come right up over there and be like, you know, thinking back yeah. on it, Alan wasn't any good when he was alive. I just caught a stray, like, oh, oh man. man, you know, I'd be like that, but, mm. you know. And it's even funnier if y'all think y'all getting something because this man didn't have any money. <laughs> or they're like, you know, I told him not to be selling old copies of Madden like that, telling everybody they were as good as new. I mean, you know, if anything, I think <laughs> let nature take its course, man. You know, I'm going to miss you, Al. As many times as I can say it, I, I'm going to miss you, all right, because you, you did a lot of stupid shit, bro. <laughs> funny how Al passed like in the middle of like some big gang war gunfight. Well, you know, what's really funny is I'd be like this. Not only that, I sold you stereo and everything, and then all of a sudden he'd wake right the fuck up and be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's right, get up. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, uh, you know, too bad we got to get rid of those copies of Madden 13. It's going to mm-hmm. sit right up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Especially the Xbox 360 ones. Those went first. <laughs> fucking oh, first. yeah, yeah. We, we had to get rid of that, bro. Like, it was taking up all the spot. Yeah, I was putting my drinks on them and shit. They didn't want my uh-huh. table to get water rings, you know? So <laughs> Right? It's, it's not a shirt anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't play that shit no more. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's really <laughs> funny. As as we talk about that, right? This, it's just a joke. So, Val, if you see this, you know, it's just kidding, man. But you got to deserve that nonsense. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know how funeral services will be because we probably won't even have a service. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. We 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 just keep him around. Yeah, got to stuff out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll have to commemorate him by turning him like some sort of AI voice buddy. Like, hey, Al, I mean, what so a good day, sir. That's the answer. <laughs> I mean, uh-huh. you know, don't none of y'all get upset about this. Y'all like Toy Story. You got a friend. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can't, we can't give them up. We got to just keep passing them on. Yeah, which by the way, I hope there isn't a Toy Story five coming because four is enough. Yeah, is there going to be five? I hope. I mean, if Lightyear's uh, going to go by, I think it's time to put it to sleep for a long time. Well, you know, the thing with Lightyear was it could have been a lot better had they have just. Why did it have to be a future Buzz Lightyear? You know, it's just come on, what? man. Yeah. Are they going to make uh, okay? Because that was a letdown. Lydia... Woody was also based on a show, on a cowboy. Yeah, yeah, he was Ooh. based off of a show. Yeah, maybe want, they could do something with that. Yeah, I don't want to. I was gonna say I don't want to even finish. I don't want to put that thought into the ether about like, oh, maybe they'll make a western. I don't want to. I don't even want to. No, thank well, you. <laughs> well, oh. technically, they kind of already had that with Pinocchio right now. So oh, I'll skip it. Mm-hmm. It's okay. I've seen the movie already. Obviously. 30 years ago. Well, who hasn't seen Pinocchio? I'd like to think. I mean, you know. Just watch that Pinocchio movie with uh, that straight to demand um, Polly Shore Pinocchio movie. That was pretty good. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. (laughs) 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 It's just one of those kind of things, man. Just uh, Just go watch anyone listening. Go watch Pinocchio's Revenge. It's a pretty good movie. There you go. Hell yeah. A cult film. That's a cult a film, yes. Honestly, that's a pretty that's a pretty well written movie, despite all its like Skinamax appeal that it tries to throw in there at the halfway mark or whatever. Well, yeah, and it's funny you mentioned it because the Monster Fest will be around before you know it. But I was Ooh. gonna ask, was it was it like um was it the little girl or was it Pinocchio? That's what you I want to know. You found out I think it was the little girl, and so so it way, was a little girl. The way it tricked the audience is it made you think that Pinocchio was doing it, but it was her like blaming Pinocchio. But her doing all the shit. It's pretty crazy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. that, that ending used to used to trip me out right there. Cause I was like, 
okay, so was it her or was it because there was moments where Pinocchio was alive, but yes, then it was but like that's in her mind, I guess. You realize that like you're watching the yeah. movie through her eyes. Yeah. I was like, ooh, okay. ooh yeah. That was a well put together movie though. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. man. They don't fucking, you know, you watch all that shit on Netflix now, all that horror stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know I need my Black Mirror fix, man. Don't you be talking that shit about Netflix Dude, like that. I, speaking of terrible horror, I finally got around to watching like a like the the side anthology series, American Horror Stories, where like they're one offs. Have you yeah, seen how that go? Oh, Dude, that bad, I huh? Out. I had to tap out. They were bad. They were bad. Oh. bad. I tapped. I was like, that's it. I'm done. I can't do it no more. I got through like, and the seasons are mad short. They're like only maybe like four or five episodes. I got to the second season. I got maybe like two in, and I was like, I gotta stop. I'm gonna. Be <laughs> I got, yeah. I was like, it was giving me a headache. It was so bad, if, dude. If you start developing awareness, and then you know you gotta stop. Yeah, it's it's not good for you. It's like you know when you're playing like a game, and you know you're about to rage to like the point where you're gonna break your controller, and inside of your head, you know that like if I play one more time, you know you're gonna break it, right? Like, you know in your head, you know, you tell yourself, <laughs> you know you're going to break it, right? And you're like, I'm not going to fucking break it. So you do it again. And then next thing you know, you're on Amazon and you're ordering another controller. <laughs> so, like, yeah, that's what it felt like. Like, I'm stopping. I have to stop or I'm going to I'm gonna snap this fucking uh, fire stick remote in half. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out. Oh, my I God. That, I got a piece. Oh, that... It's bad. That sounds like a rough night. I, I mean, shit, my hat hurts after hearing that. You yeah, know? not even like good bad watch. Like it was, it you know, because horror, like even bad horror, lends itself to be kind of entertaining. Yeah, at least. Um, if you can make it cheesy enough too, but this was just it was. They didn't even try, huh? <sighs> oh man! Ooh! Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> bad. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take your note on that one. Yeah, <laughs> my, my uh, that's body temperature went up. I, I wow, yeah. um, I mean, like you know, I'm still working on the movie list, so you know, work on your movie list and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, and go ahead and do these things. And you know, from what I can remember, there is a feature. I don't think Twitch got rid of it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and try to mess with that. So, hell yeah, we're, we're gonna try to do a bunch of different things this year. Not to mention, J360 TV is booming. <laughs> we gotta get, we gotta get you guys on the on, the, on here, yeah. Yeah, we got to get you guys on the cams and stuff, though. I mean, like, I feel like I'm an odd man out. Like, why people need to know who the hell I am? But then again, I need the attention, so I'll take Catch it. Catch me on Fansly, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Just, you know, I'm going to let you have that one. I'm going to let you have that one. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you have that one. It is the Hangout <laughs> Show, of course. In the, in the little picture right here. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like, we did this whole. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We did this whole Hangouts episode, right? And, like, we didn't even introduce ourselves because people should know us by now. Yeah, we just, we've just we done so much content together. We just we just literally jumped right on in. Just I mean, like, that's the way. Right. Oh, I meant to tell you. Yeah. You, did you hear about uh, Godzilla versus Kong 2? Uh, no. By the judge, like, on your face, is it good or bad? Mm. Uh. Give me the it's it, 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 it's coming, but the thing about it is, it's like uh -huh. we've seen this before. Oh. You know, it, it's it's them coming back into another movie again. But I, I want just like I want it like this, okay? Have Godzilla have his set of movies. Have Kong have his set of movies. And yes. then while you're at it, have Gamera have his set of movies. And then that yeah. way, it works out. And then they could all meet up again and fight against like maybe Gigan. Well, Ghidorah's been dead, but Ghidorah has a way of coming back. So the Mecha Ghidorah thing is even a storyline they could go with if they really wanted to. Yeah, if they really wanted to. But what? So what is it? Are are they looking to try to only make their next movies both like team up movies from here on out? Is that what's going on here? That's the thing. I'm hoping they're not doing, but it's just the <laughs> fact that it's greenlit and it's coming in about. I think it's coming in 24. I want to say it's not coming in okay. 23. So okay. there's still a little bit of breathing room, but I do love that first one. But the thing about it is, I just don't want to see Godzilla in another team up movie right now. I want to see like either a solo yeah. or something like that. Uh, yeah, I want to see him. Um, I want to see him fucking kick some more ass by himself. Like right, right. Dude, King of the Monsters was sick to watch. Fucking to, like, dope. Tear through. I can monsters. Hell yeah. 
I can watch that all the time, dude. I Yo, love that freaking movie. Yeah, that is my movie. Mom. There. What is it? The good. The, what is it? The is it the Rodan scene where he's like flying over Mexico? Yes. Oh, dude, so sick. The fighter jets? Hell yeah. Yes. Sheesh. All of yeah. that was good. I just wish they had like uh, Mothra's um, antenna that could shoot blasts. I just wish that was in there. But I really you know, wish they would have given them more like dog fighting scenes, like towards the end where they were actually fighting each other. That was yes. Really dope. That was dope. Mm-hmm. And the way that she got him was also like I didn't even think about that. And I'm like, yeah, oh, the man, stinger. Right. That, that, that was badass. Know. Yeah, like uh, but I yeah I know what you're saying. I don't get me. Kong and Godzilla was awesome. It was. It was. Um, I didn't have a problem with it. And so, but yeah, man, I want to see more Kong adventure. I want to see more Kong in Hollow Earth and see Godzilla kind of do his thing up top. Like, I want to see it kind of invert a little bit. Yeah. And you could keep the universe going that way. Who knows? Like, you you could have Mecha Kong and all that kind of stuff happen. Mm -hmm. You know, It's, it's like there's a whole wealth of stories they could do but the thing about it is if they're going to cheap out for just one lame sequel i mean i might as well wait for it to come out on home release yeah yeah you always you're going to know it's a bad sign too when like i mean i don't i don't know if they're even going to do this anymore after the since like covid's kind of not an issue with theaters no more but um like remember they would they were doing like you can go see it in theaters or stream it Mm-hmm. Like same day, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember a big sign of like, hey man, we don't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, coming from it for for a while there, it's like I, I feel for theaters. I do, but there are times where it's like, you know what? It's good to have freedom of choice. It is. If I could have watched, if I sh- I should have. See, I learned my lesson. I should have watched Mortal Kombat in my home. Yeah, I, I had fun with theater. that. I went to the theater and I was like. At the at the end, I was mad. I was like, well, that's because the first seven minutes of that movie were fucking class, dude. But then the rest of it just literally, if the movie was the first fight scene and the last fight scene with Scorpion and Sub Zero, mm-hmm. that'd have been my whole movie. That's it. Yeah, I'd, worth it. I'd have been like, hey, it's a ten minute movie. It's fine. Uh, I'll take it. They they didn't have to unmask him like uh, three to four Every times. Time, though. Man. Every like, four, every four minutes, we, he was like, "I'm we, Scorpion." We 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 know who you are. We yeah. know. Let's not even talk about how bad that main character was, too. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that. Uh, you Ooh, know, man. because I really enjoyed creating my character on Armageddon and playing yes. through that. And that's that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I thought they were going with that. And the only character to use anything sort of like those sticks that he had was a. Uh, um, what the hell is that guy's name? Cobra was the character. I think so, but yeah, I think so. But didn't Quan Chi use like um staffs like that too at some yeah, point? Yeah, one time. Yeah, and so that's what I'm saying is like I just they I thought they were going that route or like a descendant where the spirit of Scorpion needs like a body, you know, during the tournament to take over. Yeah, and dope too. Right. Um. Because that's the weird part is the guy was an actually okay fighter, but they made him be like some loser of a character, which is like, oh, go right. Yeah, he's our audience surrogate. I'm out. I'm okay. Uh, you know what? It's just like when you look at the Iron Fist show, like back with the Netflix series and stuff. It's yeah. like, yeah, we get to go through at least like what five more episodes of this shit. Yeah. 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 Great. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of Iron Fist, did he actually? Okay, unless I'm like blurring it out of my mind because it was such a bad experience. But at the end of Iron Fist, did he shoot bullets from his hands, or he shot two guns with gold bullets in them? It was his hands shaped like guns. <laughs> I thought I was. I thought I was. I thought I was like imagining that. You that... cannot imagine that. That was so lame. Oh my god. Um, Way to take a great okay. character like Iron Fist and just ruin and just, him. Yeah, just take a in, in two damn album. seasons. In we, record we, time. In yes. Record time. Yeah. Like it, it was bad enough that he lost the Iron Fist like what twice? I was like, shit, dude. You were a master of it. Luke Cage, what the fuck happened? That's like if during the Daredevil show he, he got his vision back. Right, right. Okay, but now you can see, but you can still fight, right? Like, 
you're still a pretty good fighter, yeah? <laughs> like, that didn't come from you being blind, right? Like, you trained oh, that man. part of yourself. I, so, I like, can't wait to see. The powers, you can still be, like, adequate at fighting, correct? And that's a show that just made my brain, like, question. Make your itself. brain hurt, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it gets better because the Disney Plus soft reboot rendition of this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're going to be seeing some lulls then because I can only imagine what happens next. Like the whole thing that was established in the third season. No more of that, huh? Mm-hmm. Nah, we're going to do something a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck! I just... Ugh. We need I, to be... I, we, I, I, <laughs> thought memes, I thought the memes were like someone putting two people together. And, you know, like you'll see people like, well, Matt in a different character in a scene or something. Yeah. And that's what I thought that She-Hulk, Megan the Stallion scene was. So I didn't think it was real. And then I love oh, the, the twerking scene or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. That whole thing where it's like, you know, I can't get none in real life, so I might as well go for the CGI booty. Right. And then so I look I look at the scene, and it's a real scene. And I just thought, I just couldn't. It's almost like my brain. I just sat there watching it, like, puzzled. You know? Mm. And just thought, oh, okay. <laughs> like, uh, what, hey, man, I hope whoever likes this. I, the Steve Rogers thing. No, no, I don't think I will. And just like a click out of it, like, what? Let me Google something else. <laughs> like, just move on. It's, you know, I'm, I'm too old for this now. It, it goes like this, man. <laughs> for want of nail, people yeah. will actually just, I don't know. They think that this is empowerment. I'm just like, mm. I'm not getting these, uh, the minutes uh, I've wasted on this back. No, this is hell. Yes. If anything else, it's like one She Hulk's butt is not real for one thing. Yeah, She Hulk's butt yeah. is not even big. That's another thing, especially for her size. Right. Yeah. So, like, nah, nah, fam. Um, this is all for y'all. But the fact that people were getting off on that, it makes me wonder about like how Blade Runner was when that was in theaters. You know, with yeah, the holographic I- woman. I mean, yeah. I'm like, Jesus. You know what's crazy is how many women do you think are even enjoying the She-Hulk show? The same ones that are enjoying Star Trek Discovery. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or any of these things that come together to just promote women, but it doesn't do any justice. If anything, they probably watch the WNBA more than they watch this. Any real woman, anyway. And that's would, saying a lot. I would say I would say for sure watch the WNBA over She Hulk. Please. Mm. At least like uh, support women, support real women. <laughs> I mean crazy characters. I, like yeah, you know and another thing. Cause I'm not being a man, uh, I'm not just being a man that speaks about like how women's shows are kind of boring. Nowadays, yeah, they are. You know, to sell this narrative and just just all this stuff here, it's not even enjoyable fun. It's not even like when I look at something and I find it interesting, I'm going to mm-hmm. sit here and, uh, and, and and learn something from it because I ain't learned a damn thing. Right. But <laughs> uh, but the fact is, is that like it, it it's here to push something that's not even leading anywhere. It alienates a fan base because we men, we, we're part of that dynamic too. I mean, all this stuff was built off of us and you get, and you ladies out there. That's yeah. just the way that is. But yep. it's not serving anything. This is one of those things that was made to pander, and it's just it's falling flat. It those sucks. that are shilling about this stuff, yeah, it, it could be the show's bad. But also, it's like when it comes to CGI and stuff like that. Remember when everybody was all up in arms about, no, I don't want no CGI. I want practical effect. I want practical effect. Yeah. This green woman twerks, and now the world's like, oh, this is a power, but this is great. You cannot use the CGI argument no more. It's over. It's it done. is over. Just take it. it put it in yep. everything. Fuck it. Who cares? Just that, put that, it in that, everything that, at this point. You, if you are getting excited and getting off on this stuff, you cannot use that argument no more. That's but I'd take away all of your excuses at this point. Seeing a scene like that almost makes you not want to judge the fools that are like into hentai, because at least, right? Like, at least that has some sort of like weird grounding in what you already know it is. To see like a scene like that where they try to sexualize her but empower her in quotes mm-hmm. at the same time, right? With a rap woman that like her brand is big ass 
sexy icon type character, right? Right. Uh, it's like to me, the hentai is almost less offensive. You know what I mean? At, like, you know, at a certain point, yeah. Yeah. Cause it's just like, wow, dude, at least in the hentai, I kind of I kind of got the gist before all this all these tentacles started showing up. You know, I thought this lady was a lawyer, some self-respecting woman hero chick, and now she's like flopping ass cheeks for no reason at all. Like for what? no for not not provoked, not like a her at home cooking dinner, playing music with her friends and shit. <laughs> right. Her candles or whatever. I, I mean, you know, it's, it's it seems like the more and more I interact with the show, and I don't interact with it that much, but it's like mm-hmm. the more and more I see about it, it seems like if you got to keep saying the same thing over and over again, you didn't achieve anything. No. You're just all in all, every scene has to be a ball busting, uh, has to be a ball busting speech, or has to be an empowerment speech, or it has to be yeah. like, Oh, I'm not this and that, but she's becoming more in true to herself. And that she holds her anger in a lot more better than the Hulk. I remember that whole spiel. I was sitting right there. I was like, one, that's your cousin. Two, that's the Hulk. Three, you do not hold it in better than he does. He got more shit going on. But then again, that's MCU Hulk. So, uh, yeah, take your pick on that. But the one I know, shit, he's haunted by memories of his father trying to get him. Eventually, yeah. he will become a despot and take over post-apocalyptic Earth to the point where old man Logan has to battle against them. Yeah. It's a whole lot of things there with that character that's not being used. But this watered-down bullshit here just ruins both characters because, like I said before, I used to love She-Hulk. I used to yeah. like read her comics in addition to everything else. But yeah. once again, I can't even enjoy that character now because, you know, a whole it's lot crazy. of shit. To that point, too, like... David Goyer got in a lot of trouble years ago when he wrote, they were doing press for like Batman Begins and they were, you know, started asking him about like, oh, what other comic book characters would you like to write or blah, 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 this and that. And then like conversation got around to a character like She-Hulk and he kind of jokingly said, he goes, well, She-Hulk is obviously like some pubescent boys uh, power female fantasy. Right? And everyone thought he was being completely insensitive. He goes, well, at least that's how these studios would make her. And he wasn't wrong. No, he wasn't wrong at all because I remember like what the wasn't there the third blade movie with um Jessica Beal being the main yeah. character because if anything, like we were supposed to like her, but the thing about it is it's like she really didn't wasn't likable in that movie. Kind of right. like how like in the second Laura Croft movie, Angelina Jolie wasn't likable nope. because like you couldn't really relate to her and all that kind of stuff. And then you know I'm not even including the out of place sex scene that took place in it. Yeah. At least with the at least with the first movie, you know, she went through a lot. She lost her dad. There was unresolved tension going on. The yeah. person that she was fighting against, you know, wasn't she like a wasn't he like a family friend and all that kind of stuff? And she mm-hmm. never had to ball bust every five minutes on the film. No. You liked that movie because it was action packed. She was relatable and everything was enjoyable. The second one, yeah. oh, we're gonna make just this person be cool and it's like well she she's not going through anything and that's a problem yeah. like a lot of people try to say like it's hard to write a female character it's hard to write any character yes if you're not yeah. putting yourself into it it's like your avatar or some shit anybody yeah. can i can write great shit about me you can write great shit about you but when we're yeah. trying to make characters from scratch here we gotta build their world and all that kind of stuff and it can be kind of complicated it's always like when you when you look at these like bio movies like that last like Elvis movie too is an example of it's oh. it's hard to have people write out you're right outside of themselves because what ends up mm-hmm. happening is when you have to write something like that you have to go beyond your own head you have to you know? that's like where that dangerous territory of for actors you know like uh you know rest in peace but like Heath Ledger because mm-hmm. he because his personality was not like that he all like he immediately knew like i'm gonna have to do some weird shit to become like a bad person because that's that right was obviously not in his nature right so it's like you know actors kind of get to do that and then like then you're right it's just it's not even about writing it's not hard to write bad characters it's it's more hard to like get out of your own head about what you think people want from characters Mm-hmm. You know, because like to go back to the Elvis analogy is like 
you want to think of him as some sort of like hero, but he was like a big old piece of shit. So I mean, yeah, like he has a myth. Everybody yeah. knows the myth, but exactly. realistically, you know. Yeah. So there will never be a biopic of Elvis. You're just going to be watching like a truncated story based on his TV performances. Mm-hmm. And the you same could be said about Tupac and the same could be said about yeah. Biggie. Same could be said because these were real people, you know, they yeah. went through a lot of shit. And the same yes. can be said about Michael Jackson. Same could be said about Prince. Mm-hmm. List goes on and on. It's like, funny. like there's that Mike Tyson show. Is that right? Yeah, like a Mike Tyson show out. And the yeah, funny thing is just one thing that will never happen while he's alive, at least, mm-hmm. is they're not going to do the Mike Tyson show where they show him slapping his wife around real hard, right? You know, and they're not going to bring up that time in his life when like all those charges were brought against him, right? You know, and if they do, it's going to be some like, um, Honey Boy scenario. And Honey Boy is a movie that Shia LaBeouf made, right? He's, like recently come out and said like he kind of inflated. All the bad shit his dad did just to make himself feel better because that was the kind of culture he was in at the time. Right. You know, and that goes to is say a lot about him just even admitting he's like, so I had to go to my dad and say, I am sorry for doing that to you. But that's what people want to see. They they don't it can't ever it can't you can't ever just be a bad person because of you. It had like you said, it has to be some existing outlying force that doesn't understand you. You know, it's mm-hmm. like, well, now everyone's kind of a piece of shit if you push them in a direction. You know? I mean, and the only reason, and I want people to know this, the only reason why we're saying this stuff is, is because you take a look at like Ghostbusters 2016, take a look at any of these movies. As a matter of fact, take a look at any of the 2010 lineup of movies sometime. Mm-hmm. And you can see like how poorly written these things are. You can see like how like it's easy to go through these movies and not really remember what you watch. It doesn't really matter about the gender who's in charge of it. It's the idea of that, you know, there's nothing memorable. There's nothing of staying power in this kind of stuff. Now, there are a few movies that are good, and you always have those movies. But at the end of the day, it really depends on opinion. But you can see, like, the writing staff of She-Hulk. Have have you ever noticed, like, why do I need to know about the writing staff of She-Hulk? Why do I need to know about the writing staff of Ghostbusters 2016? (laughs) I, I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't need to know a damn thing about these people. It's you know it's it's just it's, a, it's for just real. That, like we hit all of our assigned hiring needs, you know. That's yeah, all that, that box checking has got to go. So yeah, hey, speaking of which, somebody sent me an email not too long ago talking about diversity hires. Like, does J three hundred and sixty Productions care about diversity hires? I didn't even answer them. Dog. You you, you want to know why? Because once again, like I said, this is a this is like the new running gag now. How to be inclusive without saying you're inclusive? <laughs> yes. yes. I'm not going to answer any questions about that because I'm going to look at the camera right now. You all know better. I've been doing the J Man Show for seven years. I've been doing Hangouts for damn near three. Yeah. Yeah. It don't, it don't mean a sense. I I, I just so I'm crazy. not gonna go ahead and humor that. It's cringe if anything. It is because if you for anyone who doesn't know, I'm not white. Like right. we're this, like we're talking about like characters in Hollywood and being creatives. Neither one of us like Eric's. If anything, out of everyone that you've worked with and that we've worked with together, like Al's the minority. He's white. Right. So so diversity hire yes. You do care. I, 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 I mean, <laughs> I, I don't yeah. know how far I have to go, but I know I don't really need to say anything because if you yeah. knew my damn content, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would know. It's yeah, like it's crazy. I mean, same thing with Jam, same thing with hell, even the Cyclone. Like, oh God, it's just oh, so stupid. Like, even the movies I'm going to make, you know? Why does it like. I don't even. I, that's such a fucking jeez, dude. You, you see oh. what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's like, like, hey, like, nepotism. You like, know what I mean, looking for stuff where yeah. you don't need to. Why don't you just enjoy things? Remember, enjoying things was great. Like, mm-hmm. but you know, it's yeah. like once again, like when you go out to like, we live in the day and age where people go to comedy shows and they protest. This is their moment to protest. Yeah. Whereas like, you know, I paid my money for my ticket 
and I'm I'm coming to see Dave Chappelle. I don't want to see your sorry ass up there ruining what I paid for. That's, Sit down. That's a big old cold fact, and that's the weirdest thing is like people will spend five hundred dollars to protest, not realizing they've like not real not realizing sorry that they are in terms the sucker. That's it. Like you still gave them five hundred bucks, dog. Like why not just protest outside of the place? I mean, see, it used to be like that, but now everybody's got to have that impact until you were legendary till you weren't. You know, it's like, I, I, I don't get it. Why wouldn't, crazy, like, why don't they call somebody like that a terrorist? Somebody legitimately trying to go up there and stab Dave Chappelle to death. Well, when you give domestic terrorism a face and a race, I mean, you know, everything else, you can just fly right through the cracks. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, yeah, People that's, that's, that's yeah. Yeah, sure. Like that's that's what they do, and it's it's very unbearable and completely stupid. Because it's like <laughs> when when you go out here and like after I'm done doing a jams episode or after I'm done with stuff like that, there's either two things I want to do, and I can't mention one of them because she's not here right now. But I'm gonna say this: <laughs> we'll go to the other one. I just want to <laughs> chill. Yeah. Okay, uh, you know what it. I mean. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just being honest. Yeah, yeah. And those of you out there that are smart, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you that don't and pass out. How about yeah, that? yeah. You, you, you didn't. You, you don't know yet. <laughs> it's just oh, like uh, pe- people drive me crazy with this stuff because you got to promote mm-hmm. when other people are there or when, like, you know, it's something for you to pay attention to. Because that guy went up there. He wasn't doing it for LBGTQ. He was doing it for cred. He was doing yeah. it for re- acknowledgement. I think that I tackled Dave Chappelle. Thing. It was that was just like that was like a side effect of being able to mention that. I think the original purpose was for it's like we talked about one time, like it's the Takashi Six Nine version of of uh, public relations. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like if I cause a scene and I do some stupid shit, then I get attention, and then and then I can say, oh, I did it because of X, Y, and Z reasons. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. cool. Quite okay. a lot of quite a lot of these Redler fans out there doing that shit. Isn't that? Yes. And that's another thing, man. The Riddler. That was, mm. that was one thing, too, seeing that movie and just thinking, like, there's no other way we could have gone with this. That's as good as we got with it. That's you know? as good as we got with it. Damn, man. I mean, like, and, and that's the thing. See, people forget, like, you notice, like, how a lot of people dress up as Batman villains, but the thing about it is because they're popular, they don't know about the psychological defect with them and all that stuff. Right. Some do, but quite a lot don't. Right. Like the Riddler does what he does because he has a constant, a constant compulsion, which is a compulsion anyway, a compulsion for attention. He wants attention. Yeah. That is a problem. And there's a lot of people out here who now, because the internet has given them a voice and all that kind of stuff, they're not using the voice well, mind you, but it gave it to them. No, they want it. They want that. That's thing. that's. They want that attention. TikTok is notorious for that. So yeah, I think TikTok is exposing how many people have like mental issues, mm. you know, and they're guising it as like quirky personality, and I don't believe it. I don't buy it at all. No, because these are the same people that will not. You hold them accountable for it, and they can't handle that. But no. like once again, I'm giving you attention. You need to own up to it. Yes. Oh, I don't want that kind of attention. No, you wanted attention. You don't get specified attention. Yeah. You wanted attention, and now yeah. you're gonna go ahead. And you're gonna get the punishment for it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just, like it's, you know, just... it's like it's a weird thing to look at adults needing justification from random strangers on these apps, mm. which is like goes down to somebody asking you about like diversity hires. It's just like what provoked this, right? What a weird yeah. ass thing to ask me. What? That's that's not even a good dinner conversation. That's it's just like once again, hey, uh, you like diversity hires? You have some? Yeah. Do you have qualified people? Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of like you know Hollywood running the same old actors into the ground, are they farming and actually bringing people in to actually do jobs so that we could have more icons to talk about instead no. of the same five people? But no, they're not doing a thing like that. 
Yeah. You know, much like any of these things, these institutions are running themselves dry and they know it. But the thing about it is the answer is right in front of them. And until they fucking get the point, that's yeah. why a lot of people are shelling out money. That's why like something like uh, what was the name of that cult that was over there in Hollywood? It, it was like started with an N. Nixium. Yeah. That's why Nixium was huge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know things like that, and I don't know. It's probably still flo- floating around out there because there's a lot of sick fucks. But the truth Uh-oh. is, is that like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it didn't stop nothing. It's just like one of the many that got in trouble out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's like, but they rope those people in, you know, give them good housing, all that kind of stuff. There's a way, like we talked about this before too. It's like if there was something that you really, really wanted, and I could offer that to you, and I hook you in, and I got you that way, I got you. One way or another, I got you. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, and then add to multiply that by how many years as an actor you've been unemployed. Um, it's finally a good paying gig mm-hmm. in comparison to fucking flipping the, you know, open house sign on the street corner, you know, spinning it, sign twirler. Yep. And then, yeah, sure, I'll. I'll do whatever you want me to do. That's a dangerous recipe right there. It sure enough is. And like, you know, there is no freedom of choice at that point because you gave it all away for all of that um, that you want it. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to be like, well, what are you going to do? Stop doing this and then go twirl a sign again? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like, oh, no, I'm not. The fuck? Are you crazy? I'm kicking that yeah. uh, Seth Green's house in his weird uh, kid dungeon. In his house. Yeah. yeah. Like all that kind of stuff that comes out of the woodwork. And the thing about it is it's like because... The reason why that shit keeps going on is because it's been passed on. It's been learned. It's been all that kind of stuff. A oh, king yeah. and its generals and things like that. So it's funny like when people do this stuff, but they don't talk about it enough. Like on the news, you think they would talk about sex trafficking. You think they would talk about cults and all that kind of stuff. You think they would do that, but special interests and who's paying who and I mean, real life Hydra is like right there in front of you, but you know, it's so you crazy because you can, you can indoctrinate anybody into anything and people don't realize it. Like that's where uh, like those hashtag movements are the, are the perfect exercise in which to see who you, whose brain you can turn on and off mm-hmm. on a whim, you know. So yep. you'll go through Twitter sometimes, in the span of like one day, like two sides of an argument will trend, almost like clockwork. Mm-hmm. You know, and you're thinking like, who makes up the hashtag? Like, where does that get started? Because I highly doubt that organically 800 people just have the same hashtag idea at once and then all of a sudden it's hit some algorithmic you know home run well you that know, so who, most... who is establishing these fucking random hashtags out here well you know to be fair i'd like to think if anything it's somebody that has a lot of pull for one mm-hmm. and i'm not talking like the ones with the blue check but they're bad enough mm-hmm. i'm talking like um because most of these arguments are engineered anyway. Just because it seems like it's two people having this thing, they're probably all in on it and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. So, you know, as it keeps being shared, it keeps being shared and all that kind of stuff. It isn't that, like, you know, you pay for, like, premium Twitter so it can stay on there a little bit longer so people can see it, <laughs> which is a fucking joke, by the way. That is a That's somebody. Man. Do not mm-hmm. do that, anybody listening. Do not do Not that, do please. it. Save your money. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, which is another damn thing. Uh, damn. Instagram, Instagram's trying to get into subscriptions too. So yeah, it's all that shit going on. What? Yeah, they they are rolling out subscription stuff now. Yeah, some some profiles got it and other profiles don't. But this shit is gonna. It's it's. Oh my god. Instagram subscriptions. What? Mm-hmm. The... This stuff's getting ridiculous, man. You can I create live in- exclusive Instagram content and offer benefits with subscriber lives. It's just fucking Patreon. And OnlyFans and all the yeah. rest of the crowdfunding Stories, sites. Badges, posts, reels. Get the hell out of here, dog. Mm-hmm. Oh. Something in it. Oh. And you know that Instagram's numbers have been kind of, what, slipping because they, of the whole... Wonky, like, yeah. And then the their, algorithm, thing, like, it, their algorithm breaks every other day. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny shit. That's funny. That's funny. Oh my gosh. Didn't take them long, man. Didn't take them long. Hell no. I can't believe it though. Like if I had an okay pair of titties or whatever, I'd I'd have all sorts of accounts open. I'd have a I'd have I'm telling you right now, Jay. I'd have an only I'd have a I'd have all of them. I'd have have an OnlyFans Lee. I'd combine it. 
I, I, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, at the same time, like we're we're speaking about that, but that's how a lot of these people make their money though. You know, and, and I and I and I got some friends that have these pages and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I look at them and I'm like, okay, you know what? Do you? It has nothing to do with me. Right. But the thing is, it's like I also know where some of these people think that they're owed something because of it. Some yeah. of the Marvins out there walking around like you, you seen the Players <laughs> Club. Uh, I yeah. spent a lot of money on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't like I don't deserve shit. That's scary. That's the real. That's the true Riddler. That's the right. true Riddler nowadays. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the Riddler right there. Oh yeah, yeah. Or that at least in the Batman. <laughs> or at least Anarchy one of two. But you know, yeah. it's like once again, it's like at own risk. But you see, once again, we got to look at all the people involved and all that kind of stuff too. As I always like to say. Because there are some people that don't realize the dangers of it, and they're doing nope. performance either. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the, that's that why I always uh, you up quick, quicker than yeah. you realize. Yeah, that's why. I Like whenever I engage in any sort of um, dealing with the misses as she's doing her thing, I'm always like, "Hey, you good?" Yeah, you know yeah. things like that. Well, it's like you found out, like you know, what like those companies like Uber and Lyft got in a bunch of trouble because the longer people worked for them the more they realized they were kind of stuck in this endless cycle of like never leaving their car. Right. You know, the more you became dependent on that one, like, yeah, you could have done it here and there on the weekends, but some people who decided to do it like 24 seven to make that their full-time job started to realize like, damn dude, I'm like a slave to this fucking job. Mm-hmm. And, and you pay like, a oh. lot in gas and everything else. So yeah. yeah. And then if you're using your own car, like, shh, all mm. right, man. <laughs> Mm. Good luck on the mileage and then selling that bad boy down the road. You know what I mean? Like potential car accidents you're going to get into always being on the road. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then <laughs> poor bastard don't sleep. Yeah. Yes. That's a sad fact. And then like robberies, assaults on the drivers, falsely getting blamed for like grabbing women. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you see the stories like they say, oh, I was passed out and he grabbed me. And it's just like, Shh, dude. But no, you know, thank you. The sad part about it is, though, for some people, they think that that's their only last resort, like you were saying. And another thing is, is like some people even go as crazy to think that food delivery is safe. And I'm like, since when? No. It since when is for, food for delivery? Pizza delivery guys will tell you that, too. Shit's rough in some places. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know why the hell they would think that that was safe. I was like. The they got you, you been talking in to gang territory wearing red and blue for Pizza Hut or Domino's or whatever. Yeah, see, like, that's yeah. why they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, now that right there is exactly why you need to carry. Yeah. But that's a yeah. whole that's a whole different conversation well, got, for a whole different got time. Ready right here. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> that's so stupid. No, but, no, like, but, yeah, but, but hey, hey. like some of them get robbed just for the food. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Fuck all that, dude. No way. I mean, Who's like, I think microwaveable pizza from Walmart. Well, yeah, I, I remember hearing this story one time where a pizza delivery man was pulled over by what he thought was a cop, but it wasn't a cop. It was just somebody that really knew how to outfit their car, and they came over Ooh. there, took the pizza, Ooh. robbed him, and then popped both of his tires so he couldn't go nowhere. Fuck. That so man. yeah. That's he can he couldn't that. even go back to his job or anything. So it was just like, damn, did they crazy got, shit. Did, did they ever reimburse him for his car tires? See, that's the thing. It was a Reddit story, so I, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. Damn, damn. But either way, I mean, like you should always be, especially if you work at night shift. I don't know why people even think night shift is safe. If you're not working night shift, at, like in a warehouse, <laughs> like indoors somewhere. That is like not open to the public. You are n- no, you're you're obviously in the realm of risk. You know? I mean, you you gotta have ways of defending yourself and paying attention to all the fucking signs and everything else like that. Yeah, like I've seen enough crazy I videos mean, from inside WalMarts at two in the morning on YouTube and like mm-hmm. gas stations, and it's like nah, dog. Nah. No. Anytime working those kind of kind of jobs, kind of shifts and deliveries and all that kind of shit, ah, fuck it. Nope. Yeah, get on, Probably get on day didn't. shift if you can. Mm-hmm. And, and even yeah, then, that's third, questionable too. But third shifts will like entice you with like the oh yeah, but third shift, you know, they're gonna make, they're gonna start out making like you know eighteen fifty, and you're thinking like, damn, 
pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Until you, you know, factor in all the other costs about all it. All the dangers and shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know, then again, we probably won't really have to say too much because Five Nights of Freddy kind of popped a lot of people's bubbles on things. I think they realized that night shift is not the business. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I mean, could you imagine? I wouldn't want to be a fucking nighttime security guard at a Chuck E. Cheese. That'd freak me out. I'm gonna hell no. I'm saying that. Like, I don't I wouldn't want that at all. I mean, if I was in armed security, maybe, but even then you're gonna be seeing like <laughs> you're gonna show up, I'm gonna be shooting these fucking animatronics, yo. The second this shit turns on, target practice. I'm telling you right uh-huh. now. <laughs> it, it ain't even about laws at that point. It's about like, you know what, whose I'm blood's out. getting spilt. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be a fool too after Five Nights Freddy's to think you're going to be robbing a Chuck E. Cheese at night. You know how creepy that's got to be trying to break into a Chuck E. Cheese at night? Must be the only thing in the neighborhood because, like, or there's a rite of passage in the gang somewhere. I'd rather rob a church than a fucking. I'd rather I'd be more scared of the inside of of a clothes <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese for sure. Right. Shit'll fuck you up, man. It's like you know, but I, people do anything nowadays. Like I always look at it like, why? Why in the world people got to make it like, <laughs> make it seem like it's not a big deal? I'm like, oh, it's a big deal. Cause I remember working night shifts when I uh, delivered soda. I was like, yeah, I can't stay in this shit for too long. No. Because while I'm tough and everything, there's some motherfuckers out there. <laughs> no, dude, like, uh, so. If I ever had like a like a recording gig or a long session, usually what we do is we block those out at nights, right? So it'd be like it start like at nine p.m. and end at four or five in the morning because it's like right. the cleanest, to get cleanest recordings for long sessions. And so the craziest part in this one studio called Infidelity in Van Nuys. I remember being there. We were recording something, and uh, <laughs> we get inside. It's like mad quiet, and then there's like gunshots. And like crazy shit. And like you walk outside and they're like, hey man, the safest time to go down to the even like the Del Taco across the thing is like seven to eight PM. So go get your snacks early, blah, blah, blah. Because like not a bad area, but just because it's middle of the night, mm-hmm. anywhere is bad. And they're gonna know someone's gonna scalp out and scope out. Hey, this little like random hole in the wall looking thing actually has like millions of dollars worth of recording equipment in it. Mm -hmm. so maybe we should get in there so dude we had like doors between doors like an outer door to lock second inner door to lock and then the studio door yep damn man fort knox type shit it's crazy i mean you had to reinforce man it's just there's always somebody that's oh which is another damn thing and people are just now getting this there's always somebody watching you i don't care what the youtube views all that kind of shit i don't care about any of it somebody's watching you there has to be. Yeah. Yeah. There's always somebody in somebody's business. That's so crazy, dude. Wh- which reminds so me of uh, this one old dude. Like, oh, God, I used to love this shit. He was trying to tell me about the importance of Meg Thee Stallion and uh, sex workers. And I'm like, I'm like I, said, I said, dude, I don't need to know this fucking advice from you. I have a dad. He told me this a long time ago. Yeah. What the the importance <laughs> And, and, and he was like, but you made a 15-minute podcast. I was like, I'll make a 15-minute podcast about you, motherfucker. Come on, keep on. That's so what was his so what was he what was he trying to argue that like they have an important place in society or something? You know, going back and thinking about it, because I wasn't really listening. <laughs> there you go, yeah. It, 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 what it is is that somebody is trying to be relevant for somebody else. And keep in mind, like, well, you know this, like there's all somebody out there who's speaking, but they're not fighting that battle for themselves. They're fighting that battle for other people. And literally right. they realize you're going to get your ass whooped doing stuff like that. Yep. And, yep. and possibly killed because you have no fucking idea what you're doing. Yeah, you're That's out here for people and you don't realize that, like, they could give a shit if you even exist. Right. And it's yeah. like, you know, like, say, like, if, uh, oh, yeah, like, um, you stick up for somebody and stuff like that. And then you actually committed the act, and then you go to jail. You think bitch going to be waiting for you to get out? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, fella. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people are fucking crazy with that shit. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, honey. I'll come back out. And then all of a sudden, she's in J-Man's bed. And I'm like, hey, you, so you lied to him, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and keep in uh, mind, I ain't hitting it because, you know, <laughs> no, she needed no, a yeah, place to you. stay. Yeah, I got you, man. She just needs a place to sleep, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah got you, got you. Oh, yeah, be like this, be like, yeah, yeah, I was just playing Street Fighter Five all night, man. Bitch yeah, crazy. Yeah. She think I'm going to bed with her. That's yeah. you know what I mean, they like that. <laughs> nah, nah, man, you're crazy. You're crazy man. <laughs> mm. Oh shit. Shit, it's great, though. But, you know, like as per usual, man, we gotta go ahead and cut this one short. We'll give them another one sometime soon. Hell yeah. All right, J360 Legion. This is J Man and Marco signing off. That was your introduction yeah. and your outro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About damn time. We got you. <laughs> That's hey, why not? Anyways, All later, right. y'all. Peace. And take care, Margo. It's important to properly dispose of unwanted medication or sharps. MedProject offers free and convenient disposal options near you. To learn more, call 844-MEDPROJECT or visit medproject.org. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? <sighs> Ooh, a book club. <sighs> Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.